Hi guys, it's Redcoat Viking here back in Hell Let Loose. Today I want to just run through very quickly how you can get your shots on target when using artillery with the help of something called an artillery calculator. Now I've done a couple of videos on using artillery without a calculator before. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you'll know that I personally prefer not to use the calculator. However, there are calculators out there that will tell you the exact settings you need to put into the gun to be able to get your shots on target time and time again. And it's not classed as cheating, they're perfectly legal, it's just that I personally find the non-calculator weight just a little bit more immersive. But logically speaking, using an artillery calculator is far more accurate and it's arguably quicker as well than having to calculate all the different mill measurements and stuff in your head. So, enough chat, let's go ahead and jump on a gun. I'm going to take this left hand gun here. Now, if you're new to artillery, very brief explanation. Uh, in Warfare, both sides have three artillery guns on either side of the map. That's fairly common knowledge. And I do recommend you playing as a squad leader in maybe a solo lock squad or something if you intend to be on the artillery the whole match because then it gives you the option to place markers which stay around uh, for a lot longer than a ping. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, here we are, this is the artillery screen. I've got the map up there, otherwise it looks like this. You've got your mill and distance measurements on the left. That changes the angle of the gun to dictate how far the shell travels. And then in the bottom right corner, you've got the two different shell types and the current elevation and traversal of the gun. If you hold F2, you'll jump into the number two slot where you can press R to reload a shot into the barrel. If you wanted to load smoke there, I'd press two first to select smoke. And then I just hold F1 to jump back in. And now we're ready to fire with a shot in the barrel. Now using an artillery calculator isn't very different from uh, figuring it all out in your head, just a little bit quicker and like I said a bit more accurate. But the first thing you want to do on artillery is find out w what you're going to shoot at, where are the enemy. So this is an empty server, I don't really have anything to go off, but let's just say that the enemy would be attacking Viaville from say this little crossroads right here. So I want to I wanna pulverise those crossroads, so I'm going to go ahead and place a marker by right clicking on the map. And placing a marker there. You can also right click if you're not a squad leader, just right click and press and uh, place a ping there. Doesn't really matter how you do it. What's important is that you then hover over the marker or the ping that you've placed and you see there in the bottom left corner you have a distance. The distance for me is 817 meters. That is all you need from uh, in-game as long as the mark is fairly accurate. Uh, once you've got the calculator configured that should then start racking up kills for you. So, 817 meters. So, first thing we want to do is rotate the barrel so that it's facing the right way. Uh, that you just do in game, you don't need a calculator for that. So we're just going to line up that center black line with the target itself at the very bottom of that white triangle, like so. So we're now aiming the right direction. And we have so 818 meters is the final count. I guess it changed a tiny bit there when we were spinning the gun around. So 818 meters. So what we need to do now is open a calculator, uh, which is going to tell us what measurements we need to put into the elevation down there. So it's going to tell us what measurement to put into the gun to make our shells go the right distance. Not too long, not too short. Now you can either get an app on your phone, if so I recommend one by uh, tomdave.com called Artillery Calculator, which I'll put a link to uh, in the video description. But for me personally, I'm going to be using this on a second monitor uh, on the PC itself, not on my phone. And I'm going to be using a tool called hell-let-loose-calculator.com and I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. So you should now be seeing that calculator on the screen. Now, all of these calculators do the measurements more or less the same way. They'll all look a little bit different, but basically all they need to know is what type of gun you're on, Allies, German or Russian, in which case I am on German at the moment, so I'd select German gun type, and then the distance that you want to fire at. So ours was 818 meters. So I type in 818 there, and then just below, or anywhere, depending on which app you use, it just shows you a simple number. Elevation, 808 mil. Now I use hellletloosecalculator.com because it allows you to do more advanced things. You can technically find the angle and all the different ranges and stuff just using the calculator itself. So I'm on Omaha Beach at the moment, so if I was to select Omaha and I'm on the German North gun, because there's three guns, the middle one would be the centre, so I'm on the German Northern gun, which does change the metres just ever so slightly. So on this tool that I'm using here, that then brings up this map. And I can then click around and it will show me all the different angles and distances and mill settings and stuff like that. Obviously on this screen though, you don't get live tags. So if someone, if another squad leader places a tag in game, you're not going to see that on here. So this is more just sort of a, a nifty little feature. But really all you need on any of these tools is the 
type of gun that you're on and the distance towards your target. Um, and in this case, like I said, it's 808 mil here. So that's all we need. So we have 808 mil. We put our distance of 818 in. We got an elevation of 808. So we're going to jump back into the game. And if we look in the bottom right corner here, I'm just holding W to increase the elevation of the gun. We're on the maximum range at the moment, which will be 622 mil, as you can see there on the left. And I'm just going to hold W until we get to 808. Okay, there we go. So we're 808. Uh, the target has now disappeared, but we know we've got it aimed uh, properly before because we got it all set up. So if I go ahead and put another artillery barrage there, that was more or less bang on actually. So we've got the uh, direction of the gun done, the distance of the gun done. We've already loaded the shell. We're just going to hit left click. And I don't have admin cam on this server, so I can't do any of that fancy zooming over there and showing you the fancy explosion, but that will, you'll have to take my word for it, hit the target. And if there were enemy players there, you would then get an audible kind of ding sound that would tell you whether or not you've got any kills. So then you just switch position with F2 and then start switching back when the white bar touches the loading button down there. I'll show you again. So I'm pressing R to reload, waiting for that white bar and I'm holding F1 and then I'm going and then switching again so it's constantly just keep that barrage going and if you keep getting kills just keep the barrage going but to get a bit of a feeler for it just fire one or two shells first and if you get maybe one barrage with a with a kill and then the second one without it's probably a little bit quiet and you can spread your shots out a little bit further to maximize the uh, the cost to effectiveness ratio so you, you don't use too many supplies obviously every shot with artillery does use munitions for your team it's also worth noting that you should check if uh, the team has a full set of nodes. If you notice that they don't, then just switch to engineer and go and put up a set of nodes to help counter the resources that you're going to be using. And that way your team won't get mad at you. But that was it. So basically artillery calculators make artillery very, very simple. And as many people have pointed out on my other videos, some of them who have actually used artillery in the real military, uh, they say that really doing it authentically without using a calculator is arguably less realistic than simply using a calculator because in real life they do and they always have used all kinds of different tools and helpful different calculations to help them get the targets where they should be. So like I said, this isn't cheating, nothing wrong with using these tools at all. And whether you do it using an app on your phone or you use the Hell Let Loose calculator that I'm using here or any calculator, all that matters is that it gives you the accurate setting for the gun so that your targets don't fall short or overshoot. And that's really all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Using artillery in a match, uh, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but you do get often over 100 kills in a match and provided you don't get harassed by an enemy recon team, it's really quite simple and and quite chill. It's a, it's a good way to play if you can't be bothered running around and you just want to sit back with a cup of tea instead. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did then I'd be forever grateful if you subscribe to the channel and maybe even check out some of my other useful Hell Let Loose guides, tips, tricks and gameplay type videos where I get a little bit silly every now and then. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Have a good oh, one. Here, here. Behind the little right, shingle. <laughs> I got an enemy OP as well.